Hi, my name is Nathan Adams, and this is a Blender tutorial from Shemble Studio. Today's tutorial is going to be focusing on making driven IPOs. And to use that as an example, just to explain what I'm talking about, we're going to do a light that is controlled by a light switch. So let's get started. So first of all, we're in our default scene with the lamp and the cube, and we're just going to get rid of the cube. All right. And then we're going to add, press spacebar, add mesh, plane, tab into our edit mode, scale four times along the y-axis, and then scale S along the x-axis two times, and we're going to delete only faces. Extrude E, and scale about 0.25 times. Okay. And we'll rotate that around the x-axis, negative 90. Okay. And then, using the control, right, uh, left click, and just select those vertices, extrude only edges, and we'll do it along the y-axis. All right, there we go. All right, and then take those same four vertices that we just selected, shift D, escape, P to separate, all right, and we'll tab out of our edit mode and select that object. Tab back into edit mode, extrude, no, we don't want to extrude, okay. We want to make a face on that, so press F, okay. And then we're going to go to edges. And we're only going to select those two. W subdivide multi is what we want to do. And we'll do two cuts. And then we're going to move those out just a little bit. And we want to extrude that. So get all those edges. Extrude region. Okay. And then we want to fill in all those faces, select all, and then get period to make sure that your cursor is the pivot point, then rotate this 30 degrees along the x-axis, otherwise you get a really funky rotation. All right, now we'll get faces only, and we'll extrude this, and we're going to do that along the y-axis. Okay. There we go. Let's pull this back a little bit. There, now it looks like a light switch. All right. And then if we do shift comma, that brings our median point as our, as our origin point that we are doing the uh, rotations off of. So now our X, okay, that looks like a pretty good light switch to me. So now let's get back in, let's get into our actual animation part. Okay, so we go into our animation scene, a screen, and then we just orbit into our into our uh, actual 3D view, and then we're going to change this from wireframe view to shaded. And now there you go. Let me just pull this out a little bit, and there you go. You have you have the light giving it some shadow there. So we're going to use this to demonstrate how this light interacts with this switch object. So if we go into the light shader menu, you can see we have our lamp. Energy is at one right now. We're going to take that down to zero. And then using the I key, we're going to insert a keyframe. We're going to put energy. Now you want to make sure that when you insert the key that you're down here at this menu right here. We don't want to be up here, otherwise it doesn't come up. And then, going into the IPO curve editor, we want to make sure that we're on lamp. We don't want to be on object. And then you can see that there's energy right there. Okay, so if we press the right arrow key, we, go, we skip ahead to frame two. And then, let's increase our energy to three. Okay, looks like a nice amount of energy to, be, uh, to, uh, to put out for this. And then we'll insert another keyframe, energy. Okay, and now 
If we zoom out, we can see that there's a big transition. But to make it a little more clear, let's press the home key, and there we go. There's our curve object, or rather our IPO curve for this lamp. Now, the next step that we want to do is that we want to, actually first we want to shift this. GX negative 1. Okay, there we go. And I'll explain why I did that in a moment. So, the next thing I want to do is change this curve from a Bezier curve, which it is by default, to a linear curve. There we go. Now it's completely straight, gets a more sharp fall off for the off and on position. So right now, if I were to switch between the windows, okay, let's see. All right, well, because I moved it, I, you can't quite see that yet. But you will once I get this switch going. So we bring up our properties by pressing N, and we also want to press N over here. Right now, this object is called plane.001. I'm changing that to switch. And then, control C, select this with the right click, add driver, object, control V. All right, and that makes it so that this object now controls the IPO curve of this, of this particular lamp. But now we have to determine which one is going to be the determining channel for what it's going to do. And what we want is rotation X. Because when we rotate along the x-axis, then that's what we get. And right now you can see that if you push the light switch further down, then you get the light to turn on. Well, that's not very convincing, so we need to move that around. So we go back into this object, and we tab into our edit mode, and then we select that object. Right now it's at 10 degrees, which means that we actually rotate at 10 degrees clockwise. The thing about Blender is that it does clock ro clockwise rotations. So we want to take it to, I'm saying negative 60. So we get our G, uh, we get our X coordinates by pressing the G key X and right now it's at 10 degrees which is actually one past to the zero right here. So every 10 degrees is one uh, X coordinate, one X integer. And we want to take it negative 7, I'm going to put it at negative 60 degrees for it to actually switch fully on. Then we tab out, and now if we select this by right clicking, rotate along the x-axis, success. So, and of course it also depends on how much you rotate but if you just do like a full zero, full 60, you know, if you're just inserting keyframes like that, then you're not going to have this dimmer effect like I'm showing. But there you go. This object now controls what this lamp does as far as its energy. So this has been a, a Blender tutorial from Shemble Studio. I'm Nathan Adams, and thank you for watching.